So this morning I was doing my pre-chip on my truck and I noticed this on my exhaust. Okay, we are here in Williams because we are gonna be picking up here, but not until 12 and right now it's nine. So I decided to come get a truck wash. A trailer wash because last time I got a truck wash but no trailer wash so let's get that done today have a nice clean truck for this week so we are pulling up to here to uh to Maki Rice in Williams California yes I have been here actually now that I think about it so we have to pull up on the scale over here. Then we're gonna get loaded. Uh, we're gonna get loaded where the other truck's at, right in front of us. So this weekend, I found a tire plug. So I know soon we're gonna need two steer tires because it's getting pretty low, but it's still good, but it's getting low. And I don't even like, I don't like risking those, the steer tires. So we're gonna get some of those soon, but we did talk to someone this weekend. They, they said they could hook us up with a Bridgestone, I believe. Cause usually I run Michelin because these have lasted me about a year and a half now because I bought them in 2022 in January and now it's 2023 and we're in July so they've lasted me a while and uh, I know we're gonna need us a, a trailer tire the outside trailer tire on the driver's side soon so um, I think for the Michelin steer tires they're about 14, six, 14 to 1600 dollars for the, for both of them in the front and then i think trailer tires are what like five six hundred dollars so we're gonna see if we can get the plug the guy told us he could uh plug us but we're gonna hit him up today and see what he says oh yeah like i said earlier my exhaust there's like a little uh what you call it oh, man a bracket and uh, so I didn't have any screws with me or like bolts. So I went to the Loves and I asked them, do you guys have this little bolt for my, uh, so I can tie it to my bracket? They're like, yeah, let me go check. I even asked them if they had the bracket, but they didn't. So they gave me some bolts uh, for free too, which is good. I'll load it up. Let's see what they gave us. Ooh, look at that tire shine. But those uh, rims don't look that good what we got we got rice 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 baby all right so we're all loaded up uh, it's 11 15 supposedly our appointment wasn't until 12 so we got out of, we got out of there early <clears throat> we are super heavy though we're like at our total weight's like 78,000 and we're like at 70 percent fuel uh, if we were to like fill up, we'd probably be close to 79,000 something. So yeah, we're heavy. So we're going to take it easy. Man, this week is going to be super hot. Super duper hot. That's why I decided not to run in California. Wow, I was, I'm trying to get away. That's why I'm going to Oregon. Uh, because... Man, that heat is going to put a lot of wear and tear on a lot of these trucks out here. It's going to be 100 plus. And I was looking at the weather. Some days are going to be like 108, 105. So with the truck running and everything. Um, the truck's probably going to be way hotter than that. Man, I really hate this road. But yeah, I want to stay out of California because yeah, that heat just brings a lot of wear and tear to the tires. 
That's why during the summer you see a lot more tire, like tire residue, but or tires on the road or whatever you want to call it. So many people get flats because of the heat. It's just really bad for your truck, I think, overall when it's that hot and it's running hard. So I'm gonna try to go up north and probably be a little bit more cooler. Right now it's 88 only. But like if you're going towards I'm trying to avoid going to LA. Maybe Northern California, but LA, like heading over there, like when you're going through Stockton, uh, Lost Hills, Bakersfield. Oh, it's gonna be super hot through there. But yeah. Uh, so I plan to say Northern California and maybe Reno. Reno's probably gonna be hot too though. Reno and then Oregon and Washington. That's the plan. I don't know exactly yet. But also with that dedicated customer that we got, we're still trying to get set up. I thought by now we would be running loads for them. But we have a meeting tomorrow over the phone. And right now he just texted me and he's asked for my insurance. And then he told me he told me to send him my terms. So that's something I've never had to deal with. So I'm gonna have, gonna have to ask him like, I don't know. I just never been through that because never got asked what's my company's terms or send send these people my terms. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. And hopefully next week we can be ready for them. Remember, I told you guys that there's gonna be a lot of tires on the road today because it's hot. This is probably like the the fourth one that I've seen. So we're gonna call it a night here in Aurora, Oregon at the TA. Our delivery is only 10 minutes away, so we'll wake up in the morning. But yeah, I'm glad I'm, uh, I'm out here in Oregon because right now it's only like, uh, it's only 65 degrees, which is good because if I was in California, it'd probably be like 80 something right now. So I'd, I'd have to have the truck on because I'd be hot. But I have the truck off right now and yeah so let's see tomorrow what i find i don't know if i'm gonna head back to california or stay up here in oregon and do some local runs maybe washington i don't know we'll see okay so we are here at wilson or pacific foods in wilsonville oregon i've been here twice already but it's pretty decent right now i'm mostly just worried about hopefully my appointment time is correct and the bro hopefully the broker was telling the truth and if that's the case, then we should be good here. But yeah, that's what I'm worried about right now. So I don't know, I'm always worried about that. I'm always worried about the brokers lying or saying, oh yeah, we did make an appointment and then, and then them not making it or they never made it. Cause then that kind of backfires on me. So yeah, let's see though. I think now that it's this place, I think we should be good. I thought this was another place, but I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so they said uh, they'll come out here to get us once they have a door ready for us. But for now, I'm just going to go take off the lock. But I'm not going to open the doors yet because I has a seal on it. Yeah, so yesterday I was a little bit surprised because I was really, really heavy. And it was really hot and I was going up these mountains that my engine light didn't turn on. Cause usually it does, but it, then it goes away after the, I like maybe stop for a little bit or the next day I'll like disappear. But I'm thinking the light didn't turn on this time because I got a tune up on the truck. So that's my theory. I don't know, but yeah, but it always turns on though, which is weird. And now it didn't. So maybe the tune up did help the truck. I'm assuming it did obviously. So Pacific foods. Thank you. They got me out of here in an hour. So see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.